Today is February 14th, 2023, and here are my poems for the day. The first one is poem number 267, Slunking Skunk, for Francesca Maria. That slunking skunk, that mother slunking skunk, that son of a skunk, that slunker, that stinker, that stinking slunking skunk, that slunker slunk like a slunking skunk and left a stink that lingered and stunk. That skunk slunk off and left a stink, a stink that stunk long after that skunk slunk. Poem number 268, Valentine's Day. Last night I heard about Marco Gecki, who was so angry about a negative review he received he threw dog excrement in the face of a woman who wrote the review. There is no one in my life right now on this Valentine's Day about whom I feel that strongly about, and I think that is a good thing. Poem number 269, Not to be a Major Motion Picture. I imagined I got a phone call yesterday from a film producer. She said she wanted to turn one of my numbered poems into a major motion picture. I asked which one. She said that I would have to choose. She said that I would have to go through all of the numbered poems and choose the best one. At the time of this imaginary call, there were 3,920 numbered poems, and now there are three more if you count this one. So I told the film producer I didn't want to do that, and I asked her if I could ask someone else or hire someone else to go through the poems and choose the best one for me. She said, no, you have to do it. It has to be a numbered poem personally selected by you. You can't even hire someone to whittle it down to a list of 10 or 100 or even a 1,000. You have to look at them all. I said, I am sorry, I am not going to do that. She said, in that case, I am sorry, but we can't do business together. We do not have a deal. I said, okay, and that was that. After she hung up, I realized we hadn't talked numbers, and I was left wondering whether there was a price at which I would do what she was insisting on. I figured there must be. So if this film producer, who didn't call me in the first place, ever calls me back again, I will try to remember to be more reasonable and open-minded. Poem number 270, Accidental Phone Call. I got another call yesterday, although this one actually happened. My phone rang, and my phone said it was Gibby. I had not talked to Gibby in almost 20 years. I had not even remembered that he was in my phone, but I answered because it was Gibby. And I said, hello, and he kind of went, uh. So I figured that he hadn't meant to call me. So I asked, is this Gibby? And he said, yes. And I said, this is John Hall. And he said, oh, hi. And I said, hi, how are you doing? And he said, I'm good. How about you? And I said, good. And then I said, well goodbye, and he said goodbye, and this is only interesting if you think it's interesting to have ac- have gotten an accidental phone call from a butthole surfer. I happen to think it is, so here we are. Poem number 271, this is the last one for today, Like a Fish. She didn't want to tell him that he looked like a fish, but then she felt she had to, so she told him he looked like a fish. He told her he knew that he looked like a fish, and he told her that he had gotten plastic surgery in order to look like a fish. She asked him if he identified as a fish. He said no, he didn't identify as a fish. He just liked the way fish looked, and he wanted to look like one. She said, well, you do. You do look like a fish. He said, thank you. And she said, you're welcome, although she hadn't meant it as a compliment. All right, again, a short little set. Thank you for uh thank you for being here. And I really appreciate it. And uh if you're celebrating Valentine's Day, I hope you have a happy one. That is all.